Chapter 4, Mishnah 1. This chapter discusses how the Tami lamb would be slaughtered, cut up, and brought to the outer Mizbeach. The Mishnah begins by describing how the lamb would be tied up for slaughter. They would not tie up the lamb with its two front legs together and its two back legs together. Rather, they would tie it in an Akedah offering, with its right front leg tied to its right back leg and its left front leg tied to its left back leg. The Kohanim, who won the right of carrying the limbs to the ramp of the Mizbeach, would also hold onto the lamb to keep it from moving during the slaughter. This is how it was tied and placed in the butchering area, north of the Mizbeach. Its head was to the south, facing the Mizbeach, and its back was to the north, so that if it defecated, it would not disgrace the, disgrace the Mizbeach. But its face was to the west. The slaughterer stands on the east side of the lamb with his face to the west. North of the Mizbeach were 24 iron rings set into the floor of the courtyard to hold the offerings during their slaughter. The Mishnah teaches which of these rings would be used for, for the Tamid lamb. The Tamid of the morning was slaughtered at the northwest corner of the Mizbeach, on the second ring from the Mizbeach. The Tamid of the afternoon was slaughtered at the northeast corner of the Mizbeach, on the second ring. After the lamb was slaughtered, its blood was thrown onto the Mizbeach. The slaughterer slaughtered the Tamid, and the receiver of the blood received it in a vessel. The receiver took the vessel and came to the northeast corner of the Mizbeach, and he would apply the blood to the corner of the Mizbeach by splashing some of the blood from the vessel directly at the corner, so that some of it went onto the east side and some went onto the north side. He then walked around to the southwest corner and he would apply the blood to this corner in the same way, so that some went onto the west side and some went onto the south side. The Kohen would pour the leftover blood onto the southern base of the Mizbeach. This blood flowed into a drain that went through the base, and from there to a nearby stream of water that ran through the courtyard. The water carried the blood out of the temple.